All right, welcome back. And now we've got this complicated looking function. And so we want to find a way to figure this out. So a couple things. We want to find the antiderivative of this function, but look at this thing. So the first thing I'm going to look at is Can I, can I make this u? In this case here, if I take the derivative of this thing, I get x cubed and I get x. So these two terms, this goes to cubed, this goes to x. This is a cube, this is an x. So it seems like I can make this happen. So let's, let's just try it out. Let's see what happens. So if u equals, I mean, if it doesn't work out, we just start over. So u equals x to the fourth plus 3x squared. So that means du would equal 4x cubed plus 6x. Now, now look at this. Now I can factor out a 2, and that gives me 2 times 2x cubed plus 3x. And there it is. I got my u in here. Or I've got my, my, uh, my numerator. dx. So right there, and so if I divide both sides by 2, I get 1 half du equals 2x cubed plus 3x dx. And so now I got it. Okay? So now, if I set up my integral, my integral is going to be, so the antiderivative capital F of x equals, now it's going to be the integral of 2x cubed plus 3x over x to the fourth plus 3x squared dx. Now my u substitution then becomes what? Well, my u is the bottom. And my top becomes 1 half du. So I'm going to have a half out here. And guess what I get? I get du over u which is the same as one-half the integral of 1 over u du. Well, what's the integral of 1 over u? Well, it's the natural log of the absolute value of u. So it's going to be one-half uh, times the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. And of course, now I'm going to put in my u. So this becomes one-half times the natural log of the absolute value of x to the fourth plus 3x squared plus c. Okay, now, here, I don't need the absolute value signs. So I can drop the absolute value signs because this will never be zero or negative. Okay, so x is, has, they both have um, even exponents. So this will, and it's an, it's an addition sign. So this will never be negative or zero. Or excuse me, hold on. It will be zero. But that's okay. I, um, even in the case of zero, I don't need the absolute value signs. So I'm going to write it as one half the natural log of x to the fourth plus three x squared plus c, and then I'm going to notate x is not equal to zero. Obviously, x can't equal zero here because it's not in the domain, right? X is not in the domain of this function. Just like in the last example, x equal to 10 was not in the domain of the function. Okay? And I think that's it. 
Is that what they, let me just make sure. Yep, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Have a great day.